It's been family oriented. I'm just, I could do cheers for St. Martin. It's like family when your family is going through something, the kids' family, they help you out around. They really do, and they care. When you're inside and you're just interacting with the students, it's just a powerful experience. And once she got here, it took a while for her to open up. But when she opened up, she opened up. And she was a totally different person. These are kids that are us. These are kids that look like us. These are kids that come from our communities. And these are kids that, but for whom St. Martin de Porres exists, would be in a very, very different fate. It doesn't matter where you come from, it's where you're going. So that helped. And then with her coming here and them doing the things that they do with the kids, it helps so much. It's not just you're going to go to school just to reach the end. You're going to go to school with the goal in mind, hopefully, to attend college. Friday was um, the I Got In t-shirt, and their picture would be taken and posted up on the door of Ms. Wren's office, and it said where they got accepted to. It's, you know, such a high percentage of these kids, if not all of them, go to college. It's worth the education that your kids get here, and the school helps you. They're not going to say, oh, no, you're rejected because you don't make enough money. No, they're going to help and they're going to find scholarships and tuition assistance for you. By having this work-study program, I think it's, it's, as I said, it's an out-of-the-box way of being able to help the kids, help the parents, help the school pay for what is, you know, a premier education for the kids. She just enjoyed it. She enjoyed the workplace. She said everybody there was positive. It was, it was fun going to work. And he said, Mom, I got a feeling about this place. I'm supposed to come here. It's like, are you sure? You really, you know, he said, there's a feeling. You could drop them off at 7.30 in the morning, and if they choose not to come home till 7 o'clock at night, know that they're safe. They're happy. How many kids you know in a public school wants to stay at school at 7 o'clock at night? Graduation day. I get chills when I think about it. Just to see the people that he grew up with, when they marched down the street, I, I was there like, oh my God. <laughs> I was so proud that they had did the four years, that they had did everything that was required. What brings him back is, is honestly the, the teachers that he had, the staff that he had. You know, it sounds cliche when people say, oh, we're a family, because you hear that, you know, we're, but it honestly and truly is. When I have a bad day at City Hall, I go to St. Martin de Porres in the afternoon because I've never been in a place where you can feel the energy of people who are lifting themselves up more than any other place like that. It is a place where transformation happens every single day. The school and the people saw him through because the kids out there are faced with so much. It's just so hard and the school just backs them.